Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run, where we're playing Dr. Krominov, the ecologist who does not do assassination missions and does not take stuff from dead corpses because it's icky. We are trying to make money by uh, farming mutants and artifacts, so that's our thing. We also have Black Market enabled, and uh, yeah, that's how we plan our, on getting some of our gear. Now, last episode, we started up in Cordon with an army of Clear Sky guys who wanted to get to Yantar. And we did a few missions in Cordon, passed through garbage, uh, finished some missions in Rostock. Sorry, forgot the name there for a second. Then we went into Yantar, we turned in the mission, we let, left them right at the entrance to the Miracle Machine um, compound, and then we went back to Dead City. Now, between episodes, I also did a little bit of farming. I basically went uh, on a few rounds of uh, army warehouses, raw stock, did the missions in Croc Cemetery, and uh, also went quickly through Agroprom and finally finished the mission with the anomaly detector at in the north of um, of the Great Swamps. After that, went back home. I did a huge round of stash looting and dropped everything back in that city. Prepared for a little run through the Miracle Machine and that's what we will be doing today and also uh, improved our gear a little bit so let me show you what i managed to do of course while talking you'll probably see uh, a little a little bit of the action that i've been to, through it's not much so i didn't really want to bore you with killing fleshes and boars and dogs but I did beat a couple of uh, fun mutants, uh, a couple of chimeras, uh, some lurkers, bloodsuckers, stuff like that. Unfortunately, we also lost our loner friend. And um, yeah, I tried to recruit someone else, but uh, we are still a rookie and our relations are not that good. I was hoping to have better mercenary standing unfortunately we ended up doing a lot of missions for duty and that did drop our mercenary rating so right now the best choice we have honestly is trying to recruit some clear sky but uh, we'll see about that or free stalkers uh, i might have to give up on the mercenaries because it is hard raising the standing with them they mostly have assassination missions that give a lot of standing and we can't really do those right so other than that i did add another upgrade to our seva bodysuit i think no we didn't i completely missed that but uh, i fixed up our ak-47 oh, it was a little bit all? damaged i managed to find a spas 12 in a stash and i managed to fix it up so that's gonna be our shotgun, which we will take into the Miracle Machine. I upgraded the TVA. And also, I found a refitted RBF gas mask for about 15,000 rubles, or 18,000, I don't remember. And I just went ahead and bought it. It's uh, a little bit more radiation protection. It's just better all around than the, than the little gas mask we had on us. And I also got a tier 1 night vision, which should help. Now, we will go into the Miracle Machine. And for that, we have a lot of box shot, uh, 117 to be exact, plus what we have in the actual shotgun, another 9 rounds, I think. And 54 slugs, just because uh, I had it laying around and I thought, why not take it? And we also have some FMJ and HP ammo for the AK just in case, plus a little bit of Hydroshock in case we need to deal with zombies. Other than that, for the Miracle Machine, we definitely need to have some Psyblock, which um, we do. 
And I will probably take a morphine as well. So morphine, side block, and I will most probably go for a Hercules just to clear off the dizziness. Other than that, we have the usual uh, drugs and ibuprofen to clear up any uh, leg wounds. And hopefully that will be enough to deal with whatever is in there. As I said last episode, we will avoid the pseudo giant. I just don't have enough grenades to deal with it. And I don't really want to do it uh, while running. Plus, it's a lot of wasted bullets at this point. We only have 2,500 rubles, but we did buy a lot of stuff between episodes to fix up all of these things. So at some at one point I did have like uh, 70,000, but uh, well, they they disappear as fast as you get them. We have a lot of stashes to do here as well. So yeah, let's uh, start moving. All right, so I'm going to start by marking the stashes I want to pick up. Our armors are repaired. We have a few repair kits in case they get broken in the Miracle Machine. And... Um, trying to listen for anything around here. Oh! Oh boy, that scared me. Oh, that's actually the first time I used the spas, and uh, let me tell you, it doesn't disappoint. That sound is beautiful, and three shots to drop a lurker is just amazing. Right, so our first stash is gonna be right here in this uh, thingamajig. Um, I mean, it's it's something, I guess. If we end up ha having to carry too much, I will um, run back to the bunker and drop some things off. Also, I'm taking anti-rad meds just because there sometimes are pretty large rad pockets around here and um, I, I don't want to mess with those. Uh, go! Alright, a topaz suit. I mean, it's got pretty good electrical resistance. But honestly, um, ah, it's it's not enough for me to bother with. Okay, what is next? So I'm gonna go this way. We will probably meet some snorks there, but we should be able to deal with them. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's see now. There's usually a few snorks running around here. But it also depends on if they... Um, if they manage to run over the fence to the other side. I don't hear any. Oh, that's a lot of stuff just laying around. Right, um, let's keep moving. There's usually one or two waiting just around the corner. But it seems we're safe for now. Okay, let's jump up here. Stash should be right on top of this box. And a Voyager. Eh. Don't really like it. Okay, what else did we get? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, this is amazing. This, uh, this is... A lot of money. But we're probably gonna sell those. 
even though we might need them later on in the game. I'll just uh, take the hit later and sell them because it's a lot of money to have early. Oh boy. Right, so what's in there? It's a snork. And I'm gonna take uh, some Perazine, I think it's called. Just so we get that Psyregen up. We're gonna have to go around here and clear this area a little bit. There's a snork over there. Oh, there's two of them. I'm gonna pull back a bit. I'm not that worried about the actual snorks. I'm more worried about the... Uh, the Psy Ghosts. Although, Snorks are no joke either. Okay, let's, let's run out for a second. Only problem with this pass is... Um, it's a pretty slow reload. So I'm gonna have to be wary of that. I love having the second gen PDA. Ooh, and the, we got a snork hand. But we might actually be able to um, recruit hip after this, which would be amazing. Yeah, there, there's a snork in there. Psy regen is very slow. Alright, let's just go in and deal with that thing. There's also huge radiation in here. Oh, there is another one there. But there's also a friendly stalker. So. Oh, really? Come on. really hard to get them when they when they move in close to you like that okay and uh, apparently we actually have to turn in a mission to this guy and we're still bleeding so let's do this grab our ibuprofen Um, so I'm gonna f say, oh great, it's a contract killing that we took by mistake. That's not fun. Right, so let's have another one of these. Um, which one's better? This one. And, uh, run in here and try and get these two stashes. Oh, plants. Always forget about those. And one stash is right here. I'll take the lever as well. Come on. There we go. Second stash should be somewhere down here. There we go. Alright, I won't say no to a multi-tool. Finally, we'll loot the snork. No hands. Ah. Uh. 
these uh, these handless snorks. I don't think there's anything else in here. Except a yellow stash, which should be right uh, there. Okay, more advanced tools. A good barrel car, which is pretty nice. Um, don't care about this. Don't care about this. And don't care about this. Okay, we could check in here as well. There's sometimes good stuff in there. Okay, what else? We need to grab a bite. And uh, yeah, I think that was it. Let's see, how are we on weight? 78 kilos. You know what? I'll do a quick run back to the bunker, then I'll come back. Okay, so we're back in the compound. Uh, I dropped the heavier things. And uh, we only have what's basically necessary for a comfortable run of the Miracle Machine. Hopefully. And uh, we're just gonna go straight into it. Now, if you don't know, I also dropped a little guide for the Miracle Machine and Agroprom Underground on my channel. So if you don't know how to do it, or if you need any help with the uh, tactics, I also show you what I how I did it when I did the Invictus run. So yeah, this time we're going to do it nice and safe and slow. So we are going to take a Psy block. We're going to take a Morphine. That 15% damage resistance can make the difference here. And a Hercules to clear out the dizziness. Right. Other than that, I'll have a drink of water just to clear the other moodlet out. Okay, and here we go. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to turn on the night vision because uh, uh, the flashlight will keep stopping. And let's see what we can do here. I'm always a bit apprehensive about the labs. Even with my experience. No idea how I missed that snork. Okay, we only have one grenade, and I would like to keep that one for the Bureau. There's a Snork and a Zombie down there. I'm gonna put another one in the Zombie just to be safe. Where the hell is that snork? If you look at where the ghost is coming from, it's like... Alright. That's why I brought the big gun. Right, so there's one in the bathroom over here. It's the one that's uh, annoying over here. Right? Bloodsucker was another big one. 
And there's a zombie out there, and I'll just take care of that with my sidearm. Because we don't want to waste uh, the good bullets on it. Right. No snork hands. Okay, so this was honestly one of the hardest parts of the whole run. Because this is where you can get killed by Psy damage. Although there is uh, another little bit here that's uh, really annoying. There's another snork right here. He's always here. Okay. Gonna wait a bit. Uh, get our Psy regen up. And, uh, yeah. The spas. Uh, I, I don't really like it. It feels good against something like a lurker, but uh, when it comes to smaller targets like snorks... Alright, Bloodsucker Corridor, so we're gonna right, run straight to the pipes here. Come on. Okay, they they usually end up There we go. Now they saw me. There should be another one. Ah, this one got me. Okay, we'll use some bandages. We're still doing pretty good. We'll take it nice and slow. No need to hurry at this point. Okay, how are we on bullets? Um, not doing very well on the machine gun ammo. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna switch to slugs here, because there are a lot of zombies, and I think I might actually be able to catch the snorks with the uh, slugs better. And we can turn off the night vision, and I think the flashlight should work now. Or not. It's all good. Alright, so here comes the noise. Yeah, I think I like slugs better. Now, if I also aimed properly, I could do even better. Let's turn the night vision back on. There we go. Right, the second lever. Okay, 
There's a couple of most more snorks up there. Come on. Bird lever. Damage. Let's wait until the shakes stop. If we had a mine, we could have placed it somewhere right here. And that would have dealt with the um, viewer. Another snort here. Oh, we got him. Nice. Let's see. Any hands on you? No. Just legs. Okay. Pull back here. Oh, I hate this part. We're, we're gonna fall down and the viewer is already activated, so that's very annoying. Come on. Wake up. There we go. You up there? Or... Where the hell did it go? Oh, there he is. Okay, let's pull back a bit. Oh, actually, just a little bit of wood. I, I'm, I think we're safe. I don't want to go in uh, deeper because we don't want to pull the controllers as well. Ow. Okay. Pull back. Fix up. A bit risky to get that close to a viewer. Okay, so there's one more challenge inside here, and that is the controller, which we should be able to deal with. Oh, two viewer hands, that's pretty amazing. Okay, controller time, and... Okay, that was not good. Pull back. That was risky, but it ended up working. And the controller hand. Beautiful. Documents right here for the military. We don't have the mission yet, but we will. And let's fix up our armor. Because we did take a little bit of damage. Oh, I didn't want to use that, but you know what? Sure. Okay, so uh, that's it for the armor. I up the knife as well, a little bit. And that is the Miracle Machine done. Now we still have the most annoying part, which is getting out. And I will med right here before going in. Because uh, there are chances that there is a snork right as we come in. Okay, we have 
a few more slugs, we should probably fix this shotgun. Alright, and we can jump in. Okay, here we are, and there's already a snork coming towards us. Luckily, three shots of the shotgun are enough to deal with it. Now, at this point, I could turn on the flashlight, but uh, behind the mound, there's always a snork there. Did I miss all my shots? No. Okay, so the shotgun does pass completely. Oh, two snork hands. This pass completely sucks with buckshot, but apparently the slugs are amazing. Okay, let's see. There's gonna be another snork here to the left, right behind this uh, turn. we on? Ooh, one more slug. Slug. Singular. Okay, and we can already see a zombified stalker over there. Hmm, I would like to be able to, to deal with it right now. But I don't think we'll get... Oh, there he is. There's two of them. Those guys are usually in in pretty heavy armor, maybe even exos, and they do have guns, and they're right where the pseudo giant is, and I don't want them getting in the way. Right, a burner up here, so let's go around it, and there will be a snork right behind here and we got him did we load buckshot oh another snork hand that's pretty amazing okay and uh next up is the most annoying of them all checking for checking for him And there will be two more snorks right behind this crest here. Ooh! Okay, pull back. We're gonna have to do an anti-rad. And right behind those boxes is where the pseudo giant comes out. And I really, really don't want to deal with it, so uh, we're going to get ready for a quick, quick run. <laughs> there shouldn't be any more snorks left, so we should be safe at this point. If I had free grenades, I would uh, not bother with the pseudo giant or a couple of mines, but... Uh, we don't, so we do quick loot here and run. He is gonna strike us, which will slow us down. Um, I never learned how to jump over the pseudo giants. Uh, little, little. <laughs> Sorry about that. I never learned how to jump over the over the pseudo giants uh, shock waves, so. I, that's why I'm not gonna fight it. I know people that uh, can actually just kill this guy with a shotgun and a dream, but unfortunately that's not me, and I still find, find pseudo giants to be among, among the most annoying mutants to fight, simply because uh, it's usually just a waste of ammo. Right, but we are out. 
and uh oh that's the stalker we're supposed to kill or so they say right we we did it we only had to use a couple magazines of uh akhp and uh what was it about 60 slugs of shotgun which I'm gonna say is pretty good. So, let's see. Does Sakharov have anything to say about us? You, usually he tells us to come back when we clear the Miracle Machine, but... Uh, he... He... He doesn't care at all. <laughs> okay. Either way, we did get some good stuff. We got a lot of snork hands. We have one more in the stash here. And uh, I'm actually gonna grab everything and we will just head home, drop everything in the stash. And I can also show you what other things we got while we were farming. So next up, we will have to do uh, the Brain Scorcher. Which means talking to Gatekeeper, going through the radar, where we actually have a golden stash. And uh, do remember, radar is a northern area, so we might get expert tools. Now, what I'll use those tools for, I have no idea. Because we can build heavy armor weapon kits uh, with advanced tools, although they are more expensive. Uh, but what I think we will do next is... Uh, Mm, let's see. I might actually do a quick run into Agroprom, turn these in. And then just to to finish the episode nice, I might uh I go through garbage again. Mm, no. I'll probably do that between episodes, but I think I'll go turn in this mission. This is actually a mission that was bugged out. It always showed the documents as uh, being in this stash here. But uh, it looks like it recovered. So I'm going to go there and turn it in before it bugs out again. And then I'm going to go... Hmm. I would go through wild, but I know there are... I've been there and there are some very badly placed radar anomalies that I can't get past to get to that yellow stash. But I think I'll go through um, garbage, raw stock and up to army warehouses, get these stashes over here and then head back home. So uh, I'll, I'll keep whatever is interesting in the video. Otherwise, I will see you back home. I will, of course, show you what I got in the stashes. All right, so let's turn these documents in. The job is done. Finally, I am done with this. Okay, so what did I say is up next? I'm going to try not to take any more uh, military and um, duty missions because I will want to raise my uh, mercenary reputation if possible. So yeah, I'm going to do a quick run through garbage, uh, gather up all these stashes, and then go to army warehouses. Alright, so we are at the army warehouses, freedom base, and uh, the stash should be right on this side of the train. Okay. We got a pretty good upgrade. We got basic tools. Hmm. 63, 36, 22 psychic. Hmm. You know what? I'll take this and we may have to actually fix it. Because that psychic resistance is pretty good. Just need a little bit more psychic resistance, basically, to to get um, to get into that um, stupid anomaly in Agroprom to to finish that mission. Also, maybe to get to the 
helicopter chest. Right, so... Mm, this stash is not doable right now. Actually, we do have a lot of fire resistance. We could go there. Or I could just leave it. We will have to go there for an anomaly anyway. But we do have a mission here to get this stash for skin flint. And there's also a backpack under the trailer, which um, is right in the middle of uh, an anomaly field. So we might even get... Um, we might even get some artifacts out of it. Sorry about that. Cat on my desk. Alright, who's shooting at what? It's it's just one of our guys shooting at a um, poltergeist. Also, snorks and they have no arms. Damn, handless snorks! Oh, that's monolith. Sorry for the spray and pray, but I'm I'm not taking any chances with monolith. Is that guy monolith as well? Yes, he is. Okay. That went better than expected. Hmm. That's just a zombie, not even worth looting. That's clear. But as always, there's a lot of rads here. Oh, a UMP. Interesting. Yeah, so I know fighting monoliths is a bit out of character for our good doctor, but... Um, he will have to practice. Because uh, he will have to take the brain scorcher on. Plus, are we even sure that monolith are human? might have to do a Hercules here. Still have some left over from when we did it last time, but it's gonna run out right now, so... Uh, it's expensive, but I, I think it's worth... Checking to see if there's anyone in the village I should be scared of. But it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we gotta get to the truck. I will do an anti-rad med because that truck usually is radioactive. And we also have an artifact around here somewhere. Okay, here is one stash. Uh, we already looted this before and that's why it's... Um, Oh, an empty. That's pretty amazing. Also, we really need to do one of these. Now, where is the... Uh, where is the stash here? It's gonna be in here, right? Oh, don't climb all the way up. Hey, 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 get back. Oh. Hmm. I, I don't think it's worth fixing, but 18 Gauss bullets, that is actually amazing, once again. We already sold the other ones.
Okay, yeah, they're they're shooting at me. Let's go around. Woo! It did a little bit of a slingshot. Ugh. Avi. Okay. Four thousand rubles, another stash. A couple of medkits. Vodka, that's pretty good. And where's the stash? South of the abandoned village. There. Hmm. Okay, we can do that. And uh, wasn't there another mission over here? I swear I thought there was another one. Well. Oh. was unexpected. <laughs> Either way, where is this stash? Oh, it's right here. Okay, more basic tools. Well, this does have more rad resist, though less psychic and rupture. Hmm, and a bit more weight carried. You know what? I, I don't think so. Definitely not this. And yeah, we'll just take all of these apart. Right, that was disappointing. Right. Drop all of these. I'm gonna have to make an upgrade stash soon. We're, we're starting to run out of space in our main stash. Okay. What should we fix next? We could make the car work. Oh, right. We all. I also found a uh, Scat Nine armored suit. Now, um, if you got, if you guys made it this far into the video, I know we have a set of rules. Do not wear combat armor. Now, reading the description, this is a heavy military armored suit, but it's also an anomalous protection bodysuit. So, if you guys made it this far into the video, leave a comment if I should use this to try and clear the brain scorcher or not, because I'm not going to go in there with a Seva bodysuit uh, and... Uh, I don't want to farm so many stashes until I get the proper uh, armor that can get us through Brain Scorcher. So uh, just tell me if you guys want me to make an exception, and if not, that's okay as well. I'm gonna take these and sell them. And what else do we want to do here? Hmm... Let's check on our upgrades and see if we can get this uh, upgrade a little bit. Uh, gonna use the rad here for the mask and uh, oh boy. Oh, actually we can do rad filters and ballistic protection which gets us to rupture resistance, which gets us Another ballistic protection? Okay. 
Have a blast. Hmm. We can't make one of these, but if we found one, it would be pretty amazing. Other than that, we also have some upgrades for our guns, at least the shotgun. Actually, could put handling in the AK. Yeah, let's let's save some weight with this. And looks like that's it. Yep. Well, it was something. And let's see, can we upgrade our devices? We need more capacitors. So we're going to have to break apart some more um, electrical things. Right, one more sail. And we should be good. We actually have quite a nice sum of money right now. It's not a lot, but it's not bad either. Okay, I'm gonna need one of these because we need to fix both our knives and our multi-tool. Good enough, I guess. Right. And I think that will be it for this episode. I think from now on I'm only going to do um, mercenary and uh, freedom missions. I... I did a stupid thing and uh, got lured into by the ease with which he can do missions in Rostock and I think our mercenary reputation dropped quite a lot just because of that. But yeah, so this episode we started up in uh, the mobile science lab in Yantar after a good farming run between episodes. We managed to do the miracle machine also, we grabbed all the stashes around here. Uh, we also managed to finish, finally, that bugged mission in Agroprom to return the stash. And uh, we also managed to do a few missions and stashes in uh, army warehouses. And we also killed a couple of monoliths, which is pretty cool. And we actually managed to improve our gear a little bit which is amazing we also have quite a nice uh, is that a sunset uh which ways it looks like a sunset so we're gonna finish the episode on a beautiful sunset light on the plaza in dead city which is always beautiful and yeah next episode will probably be more farming a lot more farming. I'm basically gonna go Yantar, Dead City, Army Warehouses, and I'm gonna farm the missions over there as much as possible. I'm thinking we could even do Agroprom Underground for the ecologist. It's uh, for the ecologists. It's not. Um, it's not a lot of money, but I did say. It is a condition for this run. We must do it. And we will also have to do the Miracle Machine again. Which should be okay to do now. Because uh, we no longer have to worry about the uh, Force Ghosts. Or whatever you call them. Uh, Psy Ghosts. And yeah, the next episode, maybe couple of episodes, will just be farming. Trying to find a better armor unless we can use the SCAT-9, and especially a better helmet, so we can be ready for the Brain Scorcher and Radar, which uh, will probably be pretty hard. Now, we do have an empty artifact that I just managed to pick up, and uh, I wonder if we could make a full empty out of it. I don't think we have the recipe, but we could farm for some money and get the recipe since we've got so many um, charges on the artifact melters. Uh, let's see, full empty. No, don't have the recipe and don't have a, the recipe for a standard empty as well. But if we would manage to get a full empty, it would be amazing to get that uh, ballistic and rupture resistance. Uh, even if we have to take it off when we actually go into anomalies. 
uh, it would be a very nice and natural way for our good doctor to make it past all the enemies that he has to. Uh, we should probably get a light armor kit as well. Right. So, that was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. It was uh, quite a, a lengthy one, this one, but I'll try and cut it down to less than an hour. And, of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all next time.